Emmanuel Lutheran Church has been a big part of my life, of my family's life, and raising our two boys. And we're very thankful for it and, and really happy to be celebrating the 90th year uh, for Emmanuel Lutheran Church. In 1925, my grandparents and their six children met in the library basement. The church was not built on the corner of 9th and Lincoln until 1929. On January the 3rd, 1926, the uh, church became an organized Lutheran church. In 1962, uh, this, this church was built. The Lutheran Rail Workers actually began in 1945 in Ukiah, California with five workers. Their motto was bringing Christ to those in darkness. Our Braille Center opened in 1975. As of April 29, 1986, our center had produced 25,000 books with a total of 1,175,318 sheets of Braille that had been mailed to 55 countries and most of our states. We printed these books, two in English Braille and one in Arabic. I think that most of you will remember the early days of the 1950s when polio was and that brought concern to uh, Emmanuel as far as our communion was concerned. Uh, we were using the common cup at the time, so we began using the individual cup, and uh, those that were comfortable with the common cup could still use it, or they could use the individual cup. Pastor Beck was the pastor when we came here, and Pastor Rose came shortly afterwards. Uh, he had a good relationship with the high school and the college students. In fact, they um, affectionately called him PR. Um, he also drove a little Volkswagen. And one day, when he went out to his car, he discovered they had turned it sideways in his garage. But the main purpose of our organization is support for the elderly, for our own group. Well, I just know from my situation, they were at the nursing home constantly. I just loved it. And then after I got home, they came there and visited all the time. And we learned, we learned to love this town that we didn't want to come to. Pastor Hackler had a profound impact on this community with the help of Emmanuel, the chaplaincy program, working with the Paul County Council on Aging as a president and board member and out of that came the Lifespan Center that we all cherish so much in our community. He was a hospice chaplain his last years in his ministry. Uh, he established the Young at Heart for the seniors. He later retired from Emmanuel in 91, but continued to serve Samaria churches and finally was called home in February of 2006. Um, in 1973, Pastor Lick's wife, Marilyn, started the Emmanuel Preschool. And we'd go to fun places like Bob and Lily Weber's farm to see their animals and his big tractor. Lily, of course, always had something good for the kids. Ladies Aid was founded January 1927 and is the oldest organization. Our recent charities include money for our teens, the campus ministry, the food pantry, Coalition for People in Need, and missionaries in Taiwan and, my, and Mongolia in fulfilling God's work. Initially, our clientele was um, more for mamas who were not in the workforce, and when we went to extended care, we worked with a number of mamas who were in the workforce. From the very first day that my parents dropped me off here at the university as a brand new student, and the uh, it was uh, through Emmanuel, uh, as a new college student, that I actually met my wife, my future wife. Friends uh, are part of this, this family. It's just a wonderful family. In 1986 to 1989, I was a student over here at Eastern Illinois University, and I attended Emmanuel Lutheran Church through the youth program. It didn't matter what faith you came from. When you came to us here at Emmanuel, you were part of our family. Uh, I came to Charleston in 1954 as a uh, college student and I immediately joined the Manuel Lutheran. And on the north was the Gamma Delta, where the Gamma Delta was a Lutheran fraternity for boys and girls. I had so many gifted, talented 
musicians come from all kinds of places uh, to use their gifts. It was a it was a gateway to increased uh, participation. It's a very powerful faith-growing vehicle for me, hearing the Word of God behind music that was, you know, modern, fun, dynamic. Uh, I'm Pastor Ken Hoover of Emmanuel Lutheran, and as we celebrate this 90th anniversary of Emmanuel, it's been a year of uh, looking back a year uh, celebrating the, the history over nine decades that God has given to this church, uh, which uh, has shown some awesome, uh, awesome times of blessing, of growth, of challenges, and overcoming challenges. Um, as we come to the end of the anniversary celebration, uh, it's not over uh, because God is not done with us yet. Uh, we want to look forward. Uh, forward to the years ahead that God still has intended for Emmanuel to be uh, his church in this place to be about his mission, a mission of bringing his message of salvation to the world around us, especially Charleston. I'm excited to look forward and I, want, I invite you to look forward with me what God has planned.